Today is a special video. I wanted to do a a gift for my friend, my friend Brian. Uh, he's more like family to me, and yeah, I wanted to do something very, very special for him. This is a Nintendo Switch. We all like these things. We they're popular. They people like buying them for their kids or for their for themselves. Like for me, I think I wouldn't want to buy a Switch, maybe I would go for a Nintendo Switch Lite, but that's me. I don't know. Maybe I don't like to dock things. I don't know. But as far as my friend goes, he loves his Switch. He loves being able to play with it. He loves the mobility of it. And he even customized his with uh, the, the green side controllers that the uh, Nintendo Switch comes with. And he even put a sticker on the back of it. A galaxy sticker if you can see that it has a little bit of wear on it it's peeling from it but today what we're doing with this switch is that we're gonna be laminating the LCD to the glass the glass digitizer so if you don't know what a gla glass digitizer is it's responsible of your touch with your fingers I don't want to touch the glass because I really like making uh, having a clean glass. He also added a tempered glass over the actual glass. As you can tell there, there's like a sm little smudge of bubble right there. But that's fine. He, he doesn't mind it. And as far as everything goes, what we're going to be doing today is something very special. I wanted to make him a one-of-a-kind switch by laminating the glass digitizer to the actual LCD. And as if you can look closely, there's an air gap between the glass and the LCD. I don't know if you can see this with the camera, but I wanted to somehow demonstrate you guys. If you can see there, there's a clear sign between the glass and the LCD. And what we're doing today, we're gonna make this whole LCD and glass seamless as one unit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm kind of nervous, not to say the least, and I don't know if it'll work properly. Let's just turn this on, make sure that we have a good working switch. There it is. There's Pokemon Shield. Ooh, I'm so excited about doing this. This is, this is going to be such a joy to do. I'm excited about it, and I really want to see how this is going to turn out after it's done. I uh, This is purely out of curiosity and I hope that Brian likes it after after I'm done with it and first and foremost I really hope I don't break it. This is the first time I myself am opening up a Nintendo Switch. It looks fairly easy enough and I mean if the parts are cheap then I'm pretty sure Nintendo found a way to do it and assemble it as quickly as they can and as fast as they could so that it's easy to o get inside and open it. So I'm, I'm not thinking it's going to be too much of a hard deal, but I'm, <laughs> I can't, I can't stress enough how this is going to be so so cool after I'm done with it. So, all right, you guys, let's begin. assembled the whole entire uh, Nintendo Switch. I left the battery in the housing, seeing that I don't really need to take it off. And I did remove the bundle board because this flex cable right here, as this, I believe this is the LCD, and this one may be the digitizer that's responsible for the touch. But hey, what do I know? I haven't removed, I haven't opened these ones up before. As a matter of fact, I had my friend Charlie helped me out. He uh, had me, you know, point out which which goes to which, which was great. I really applaud and thank Charlie for helping me out. And yeah, it made the uh, uh, tear down a lot quicker, a lot faster. I have all the screws uh, laid out perfectly. So we're gonna have to begin doing step two, which is glass and LCD removal. 
So we're gonna go on to that step now. So now uh, I have a hot plate here and what I'm gonna use this hot plate for is to see if I can disadhere this glass away from the frame and dislodge the LCD from uh, the compartment inside of the frame. I do have the battery still installed, but seeing that I've done many electronics before, I personally, you're not supposed to do this, but I personally haven't had any problem putting the hot plate at 90 Celsius with the battery. I haven't seen no, no issues. So I haven't seen it in the past and I don't think I'll be seeing it here either. So bear in mind, don't do this. I'm just doing it because I'm lazy taking it off. We are going to grab this LCD carefully. I see that there's a small little smudge right there. It must have happened when I inserted the card and I smeared it with the adhesive going in, but that's fine. We'll clean that off. And once we're finished with that, cleaning that off, we are going to position it with that glass digitizer. Wish me luck, guys. I've never done this before, so I'm going to be, how I'm going to be aligning it is using the actual frame. And hopefully it all comes out clean. All right. I have everything taken apart. I have run into a slight problem here, and it's not a big deal. I think I can uh, resolve it very easily. I'm going to be grabbing a iPad mini optical clear adhesive, otherwise known as OCA or as short as OCA. And I'm gonna be measuring it over here. But before uh, I laminate the glass to the LCD, I've noticed that Nintendo has applied in its square adhesive all around the edge of the digitizer. This foam, the reason it's there is so that there's no dust caught in between the LCD and the glass. So that it prevents that. Uh, iPad, uh, the iPad first generation had it, the second generation iPad 2, the iPad 3, the iPad mini 1, the iPad mini 2, and I believe also the iPad mini 3. And I think they finished it off with the iPad 4. It wasn't until, it wasn't until they introduced the iPad Air too that the glass was laminated to the LCD which we're doing to this one all right you guys um, I think I'm gonna do another quick video of me taking off the whole entire thing and we'll get right back to it <laughs> As you saw in the time lapse, it took me two tries to get this right. I think we got it, man. I really do. And now that I have the the uh, OCE laminated on the digitizer, I'm free to touch it any any way I want, which is going to be really cool. And I think I might want to have to clean all this adhesive off. Off. It's really bugging me that it's there. And yeah, I mean, I think that would be great on. Uh, at, for this uh, video. All right, this is it. This is it, you guys. I have the digitizer in place for alignment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly move it to the rubber mat and have it press. I have my press machine a little bit over 30 uh, PSI. I just 
Normally, I, I do it more about, I'd say, I don't know, 75 PSI for iPad LCDs. But because I don't know the fragility of this LCD, I'm going to do it way less than that in fear that I might damage the LCD during the press. So I'm reducing the pressure down just to be on the safe side while I press this on the LCD because I've never pressed an LCD before. And once I put the, uh, the Nintendo Switch back together, I'm hoping to, and praying to God that everything went out good and there's no damage onto the LCD itself. So I am going to be pressing it at a much lower pressure just to be on the safe side. Okay. So without further ado, let's get this last part started. Bear with me, I'm going to be silent because I don't want none of my, uh, while I'm talking, I don't want none of my, uh, my spit or saliva fall onto that LCD. I don't want, I want uh, pure perfection just so that Brian can have the greatest quality out of this refurbished product or not refurbished but upgraded laminated glass to the LCD so here we go All right, I was very, very, um, very, very nervous doing this. I couldn't really talk. The, the LCD seems to have like a matte finish, which is cool, it's amazing. It made it really easy to clean off. 
and uh, I just had to really make sure that when I was aligning it to the mold it was done quickly and swiftly now it's pressing right now and it should it should be very short uh, it's less than a minute long and man my my heart is really pumping because that was some very very uh, quick maneuvering there it's pressing now Ooh, ooh! I'm so excited I'm pumped I want to see how it turns out I've never seen this before and uh, I really want to see how it, everything came out okay uh, 20 more seconds just about oh oh my gosh come on the longest 20 seconds of my life 10 seconds and we are done nice and slow oh my goodness you guys oh my goodness look at this oh my god this looks so beautiful A perfectly laminated LCD now what we're gonna do there's slight bubbles because I kind of you know I've uh, I got a little nervous so we're gonna remove this by putting it in the autoclave and after that it should be good as good as new so after that everything should be good Ooh, this is so awesome I just love the finished look. This is so amazing, you guys. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. There is some smear on the glass. That's because I've been, you know, moving around, touching it a lot. But let's put in the autoclave now and get this taken care of. So you guys, we have done it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> well, it's not exactly this, but as you can see, this is how we get our Nintendo Switches from the, from the box, from the factory, straight from Nintendo. And this is how beautiful it looks when it's, once it's laminated. Look at that. It's like night and day. Beautiful beautiful it's it's almost like you can't really compare and so it's almost like you can't even compare look at this night and day you guys I wouldn't know what Nintendo was thinking doing it like this but this is so much better I cannot stop admiring this. So beautiful. I cannot wait to put it back together now for my friend Brian. I'm sure he's going to love it. I don't know if he can, he's going to tell about the difference, but with this video, I'm sure he will appreciate how much beautiful it looks. So, yeah, there you have it, you guys. I have the Joy-Cons right here. And I wanted to put the two Nintendo Switches side by side just so you guys can see the comparison. I even put the tempered glass back. I, as you, as you remember before, I did protect the tempered glass with a plastic sheet. This is it's a little technique that I do so I can protect the tempered glass so I can re-laminate it once again. And yes, this is going to be my first time turning it on. I haven't even tested it yet. And here we go. It's turning on. Oh my God. Wow. This is this is just so much better better. More beautiful. I mean, let's see here. Back. Why? 
get back. I don't even know how to. There are three. Okay, so looks like the digitizer is working. There's no flaw, nothing at all. Looks like all the games are, you know, moving. I don't know how to go to an application where maybe I can touch the, the, uh, maybe if I grab the game. I don't know. I wish you guys could help me out, but so far so good. Maybe if I press the icon here, uh, Pokemon Shield, let's play that. Brian Tam, that's Brian's application. Look at this. Oh my lord. He's going to definitely need a new tempered glass. I can notice there's some scratches on it, but it's fine. I mean, it's protecting his actual screen. There it is. What a what a major difference. Nice. Press A to continue. So it is reading the game. Bear in mind, I haven't even begun to test the uh, Wi-Fi settings or anything like that. I just put this this Nintendo Switch together. I've never played this game before. Okay. Wow. As you can see there, I am walking. I have no idea where I'm going. But this is a beautiful experience. Look at this. Wow. Sorry you guys, I'm just I am just taking it back here. Breathtaking. This is such a beautiful game. Nintendo does very engaging games. And it just makes a whole much of a difference, a whole lot of a difference making the LCD laminate to the glass. Look at that. I love the shiny glare of it. it makes it look how makes it look more pristine, more clean. As you can see, there's no gap at all. And I am, I don't know where I'm at. I haven't played Pokemon in a long while. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't know what that was, a gym or a Poke Center. I don't even know what it was. Excuse my, my lesser knowledge of Pokemon. I haven't played in a long time. Route 6. This is amazing. Let me see if I can go home. I'm not so sure how to how to do that. Okay, Castle Crushers. I want to see how the uh, go. Maybe if I can go to settings, system settings, and see if I can go to the internet. Connection status, not connected. Unable to proceed while software is using wireless connection. Disconnect, okay. Searching for networks. Okay, so it does look like it's reading the uh, Wi-Fi, so that's working. Perfect, I can go back. I was just kind of concerned for Brian so that he can play his game wirelessly using the Wi-Fi. And yeah, I mean, I I hope that he's just as, as happy as I am. I'm very, very proud of myself. I really love how this came out. And I've enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you guys for watching this video. And till the next time, my name is Jay Sanzo. And be more than happy to uh, subscribe to me. All right, you guys. Press that like and goodbye.
You ready? What? What am I doing? It's it's in the it's in the uh, oh shoot mat. All right. I hope you can tell the difference. I'm not so sure if you will. You're making it. You're hyping it up. So I it took Hola, me a long estás? time. Yeah. Hola, cómo estás? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So it's on there. Yeah. It's stuck to there. It's stuck to there. Looks nice. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, looks clean. Hell yeah. Thank you. No, no problem. It only took me like five hours. <laughs> yeah, it looks clean. Huh. Nice. It's one of a kind. Oh yeah, I like it. Oh, that bus.